Andrew here with Android Central, and we're looking at OnePlus's second phone of the year, following up the uh, OnePlus 2, but in a completely different uh, price bracket. This is the OnePlus X, and as you can see, uh, just from my being in my hand here, it's quite a bit uh, smaller than the OnePlus 2, but it's also got a lower price um, and cut some corners in specs to make up for it as well. Um, as we walk around, you'll see that it's rather compact, very thin. Those are just standard volume and power buttons there. But it's got this uh, nice metal frame that has uh, gnarled edges on it, make it easier to hold because we do have glass on both sides. And it's uh, nicely curved uh, 2.5D glass. Uh, that rolls off the edges, which is really great. And uh, that all surrounds a five inch display here. So half an inch smaller than the OnePlus 2, but it's actually considerably smaller all around. Inside, uh, you're getting three gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of storage, but an older processor, a Snapdragon 801. And you'll also notice another thing that harkens back to an older uh, time, and that's the micro USB port on the bottom. Um, USB-C is starting to become the norm here with um, even the OnePlus 2 itself, but uh, it seems size constrictions and probably price constrictions here uh, got in the way of that being there. Around the side, you'll notice that there's a SIM card slot here, uh, but looking at the feedback from the OnePlus 2, it uh, also duplicates as an SD card slot, so you can use either two SIMs or one SIM and one SD card, which would be really good because you only have 16 gigs of storage here. Of course, not too much storage is taken up by Oxygen OS, which is pretty light in itself. Uh, it's based on Android 5.1.1, of course, at this point. And if you've seen a OnePlus 2 or an updated OnePlus 1, you'll be familiar with this relatively stock style uh, interface. Um, all of the uh, standard drop downs and settings, everything here. A little bit different because um, there are lots of customizations. We have an ambient display mode, of course, uh, some extra gestures. You can configure the buttons between what we have here on screen and then capacitive ones down on the bottom. Again, all about the choice. And there's also a dark mode, which we'll take advantage here because this is an AMOLED display. So you can see they're using a black uh, background here, so you really could uh, save a few percent over the course of the day with that. So we're going to have additional uh, coverage on this and lots of comparisons to other uh, inexpensive uh, small phones, but the price point is coming at uh, in the middle of November at 249 in the U.S. and uh, 269 euros is uh, going to be nice and competitive, especially considering what you get in the hardware.